Hey guys, it's Brian from Weekend Handyman. Now today I'm working on these rear interior quarter trim panels for a 65 Mustang Coupe. Now these panels are metal and along with the doors they're kind of unique because on the 65's and I believe the 66's it's a textured panel. So when you're stripping it you have to be careful. Now the interior on the car I'm working on used to be white and sometime in the early 70's it was painted black so I've got two layers of paint to go through and I don't want to ruin that texture because it's a really cool characteristic of these old cars now I went to World of Wheels here in Milwaukee probably about a month and a half ago and there were some high dollar restorations there where they blew it they killed the texture because they used sandpaper on it and they smoothed it out you can't do that to preserve the texture you gotta do something a little different and I didn't know how to do it, so the first thing I did was I took some acetone and dumped it on the paint and a scrub brush. I didn't want to use anything abrasive. I thought this would work pretty good. Nah, wrong thing to use. It was an absolute mess. So I talked to some people and they said try a wire brush on a drill like this. Now this wire brush, I got it at Harbor Freight in a kit of wire brushes. This drill is one of the Craftsman 20 volts, one of the new ones and this is just the thing to use. This metal's hard enough where this wire brush does not destroy the texture and this drill doesn't get hot, doesn't shut down on me and the battery lasts a long time. Now I do have two batteries, I can swap them out that way. But you know, I probably get, I would guess, a good 20 minutes to a half hour like this before I gotta switch the battery out. And that's pretty good And you're just laying on the trigger like this. So this is a very long, tedious process, but this is basically how I'm doing it. I'm just going back and forth on the metal, taking the paint all the way down the metal. But the good news is, this does preserve the texture. I'm not ruining the texture by doing it. That was the thing I was afraid of most, but it works really well. I use the same drill and wire wheel on the doors when I'm ready to do those too. So once I get the panel down to bare metal, what I do is wipe it down with a microfiber rag and prep spray. And then I can shoot it with this self etching primer from Rust-Oleum. It's got a green color to it. It's not gray or red, it's more of a green color. And after that, I can go ahead and put my finish on it or my base coat or my clear or my lacquer or whatever I wanna do. But in the meantime, yeah, I'm gonna be working on this panel for a little bit longer. So. Hope this video helps somebody. Brian from Weekend Handyman. Thanks for watching. For more tips and how-to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com.